In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the log cut. This is a nice, simple cut, actually very similar to the block cut, but of course we're focusing it on cheeses in the shape of a log. And cheeses that could resemble this, this is our Bouche de Chev from Le Bon V. Uh, you can also have it for Boucheron or even Provolone. But first, you'll see that it's wrapped in plastic, so we're going to need to cut that away. And for that, we'll need our cut glove and our paring knife. And of course, always cut away from you. But we'll need to remove all of this plastic and the paper. And of course, you'll see that this is basically like a synthetic hay. So we'll need to remove this as well. Now we have a lovely piece of bouche de chev that we can start pre-cutting. To do that, we'll place that on the center of our board. We'll remove the cut glove. Now to cut the log cut, we'll make sure to put our cheese directly in the center and we'll be able to pull the wire directly through the middle and we can set one side off to the side. Now you'll notice though, we do have a rind end on this piece of cheese. So this cheese, we're not necessarily going to want to make sure that it's cut this way. We're going to want to leave enough cheese so that we can cut this diagonally against the cheese to make sure that we're offering our customers even rind distribution. So we'll place our cheese right back on the cutting board. And instead of cutting in half by half by half, as we've done in other videos, we'll make sure that we slide this cheese. We'll keep going until we get closer to the rind. And then once we've decided we've gotten close enough of about a three quarter pound piece, we'll cut that diagonally. So we'll start with this side. Nice, even pull through, one pre-cut. And you can cut this any size you need. Again, I always aim for half a pound of cheese because uh, that, off that offers a pretty good price point and it's uh, roughly the size of a cheese that customers are looking for when they're shopping. So here I'll make just one more cut before I go to the end. And so now we get to our last piece and you'll see again that it has the rind. The goal here is not to give one person all of this rind, but instead we'll share the rind. Just sharing is caring. So we'll cut through after we laid it on its, we laid it on the rind and we cut straight through. And now you see we end up with two beautiful pieces. And of course, this rind is evenly distributed for our customers. When wrapping the log cut, again, it's very similar to wrapping a block cut cheese. You, again, you want to make sure that you have uh, no air holes. You want to protect the cheese, make sure that there's no torn or ripped uh, plastic so air can get to it. And of course, all the bunching would go on one side. This is where your scale label will go. And if applicable, this is where your pre-pack label would go.